This week's story is written by Melanie Watt and it's called Scaredy Squirrel. So as we prepare to read this week, we're gonna be reading a fantasy instead of realistic fiction. Our last two stories were realistic fiction. Authors of fantasy tell the story through the plot, including a conflict and a resolution. They have illustrations that give details about the plot and the setting. Fantasies may include animals that act like people. And they also include a theme, okay? So over here, we have Scaredy Squirrel. Um, and I'm pretty sure he is going to do things like humans do, which makes it fantasy because animals don't really act like that. Here's our critical vocabulary, venturing, predictable, emergency, consult, distract, and drastic. And here we go. Scaredy Squirrel never leaves his nut tree. He'd rather stay in his safe and familiar tree than risk venturing, circle that word, out into the unknown. The unknown can be a scary place for a squirrel. The unknown. Okay, down here it says venturing. If you are venturing somewhere, you are going somewhere that is unfamiliar and may be unsafe. So we, we know that un is a prefix that means not, right? So if you have unknown, it means not known. Down here, we had the word unsafe, it means not safe. We even had the word unfamiliar. So if something is familiar, you're used to it, it's, no, it's normal. And if it's unfamiliar, then it's not, okay? We know that scaredy stays in his tree. He doesn't wanna go into the unknown. A few things Scaredy Squirrel is afraid of. Tarantulas, poison ivy, green Martians, killer bees, germs, sharks. I'm thinking about the setting and using what I know in my schema. And I know that sharks are not normally found in the forest, which is where it looks like he lives. But I do see water there. I'm gonna keep reading because I'm not quite sure. So he's perfectly happy to stay right where he is. So he is scared of lots of things. Ah, that's where he got his name from, Scaredy Squirrel. Aha, take a look at this picture here. We see advantages of never leaving the nut tree. Advantages are good things like positive things disadvantages of never leaving the nut tree. Those are kind of negative things. So let's start on this side. The advantages of never leaving his tree is that he has a great view, he has plenty of nuts to eat, it's safe, and there's none of these things that he's scared of. But the disadvantages, the negative things of never leaving the tree are that it's the same old view, the same old nuts in the same old place. All right, same, same, same. Look at the bottom down here. Kind of like a little diagram, along with almost like a little timeline here. Monday, he's here. Tuesday, he's here. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Same tree. In Scaredy Squirrel's nut tree, every day is the same. Everything is predictable. All is under control. So predictable says if something is predictable, it is just as you expect with no surprises. Scaredy Squirrel does not like surprises. Doesn't like surprises. Okay, your jottings do not need to be complete sentences. You're just making, you're just jotting down. Jot means to quickly write something. You're just making a little note on the side. Another text feature that I see here is a timeline, okay? At 6.45 a.m., he wakes up. At 7 a.m., he eats a nut. At 7.15 a.m., he looks at the view. 12 o'clock noon, eats a nut. 12.30 p.m., 
look at the view. 5 p.m., eat it up. 5.31 p.m., look at the view. 8 p.m., go to sleep. So we are gonna call that a timeline. Okay, or kind of like his daily schedule. Those are text features here. But look at this capital, this bold print. But let's say, just for example, that something unexpected did happen. You can rest assured that this squirrel is prepared. A few items in Scaredy Squirrel's emergency kit. So over here, I'm gonna write, he is prepared. He's prepared with a parachute, bug spray, masks and rubber gloves, hard hat, antibacterial soap, calamine lotion, net, bandage, sardines. What do you do in case of an emergency? There's a vocabulary word. An unexpected situation that requires help or quick action to make it better. That's an emergency. Okay, so according to Scaredy Squirrel, these are the steps you would follow. Number one, step one, panic. Step two, run. Step three, get kit. Step four, put on kit. Step five, consult exit plan. Consult means to look at or to find information. Step six, exit tree. If there is absolutely, definitely, truly no other option. So you're gonna read, continue to read to find out what happens to the rest um, in the rest of the story of Scaredy Squirrel. And you're gonna read until you get to page 98, and then you're going to answer on page 99 these three discuss, di collaborative discussion questions.